Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very, very well. Today's actually a very special day. We've just drove down to London to get this, which is a brand new Model X 75D with the most important thing. I hope you can see down here on, on the dashboard. Uh, it's got version 9.0, 2019.8.4. Now my car obviously only has 2018.50.6, so that car is quite far behind. And Tesla are gonna have a look at that and see why I'm not getting the updates, hopefully, while I'm here. You never know, they might be able to update it when I'm when I'm gone, but I don't think uh I don't think they tend to push updates, which is a little bit of a shame. Anyway, I thought I would give you my first reactions to this new car. I'm gonna do like a full video pretty soon explaining what's new about it, what I love, whether I would upgrade, etc. etc. But I wanted to start off by doing some uh, just motorway driving here. Well, it's kind of motorway, I guess, down the A4 and show you how the new autopilot system works here in the UK. So obviously here in the UK, we don't have all the functions that you guys over in the States do and potentially other countries. Uh, we don't have any of the like going off ramp and, and stuff like that. Uh, while on autopilot or anything quite that interesting, but it is a lot more stable apparently and better than the, the version that I currently had. Oh my God, the steering wheel is so light. Normally I have it set into sport, but I guess they must have it set something else. So let's turn autopilot on. It came on really, really quickly, which was nice. Um, and it's speeding. There we go, let's bring it back down to 40. It must have been, they must have it set to a different kind of uh, setting that I do and give it a whirl. So you can see this only has 900 miles on the clock So this is really really new and yes, it's got the big alloys as you could have seen from that wherever that just went uh, It's got these big alloys on it as you can see and it's in the black color So it looks very similar to mine and I love it from the outside. It looks amazing The inside actually has different seats to what I had it has the cloth interior So it's gonna be interesting to see how we get along with that, but I've got to say it's really, really comfy, and I'm actually quite liking it. I'm liking the cloth interior, which I wasn't expecting to. Um, but everything else pretty much is the same. I'll do a whole overview with my car as well to see what really did change, and like I said, is it worth upgrading to? So I'm gonna have to pull it off there because otherwise it was gonna follow that transit van, and obviously I didn't want it to do that. Just got through that light, that was nice and put it back onto autopilot. This is quite good because then this will give us um, some space behind, obviously, because there's there's no one coming up behind us. So I'm going to try my first lane change and see how it is. So I don't know if we just tap it. Does it? It does. Look at that. So on my one, I have to hold it down and keep the stalk held down. Otherwise, it would have bought the lane change. Whereas, as you can see on this one, it did that actually very, very happily. And we just moved straight across without having to hold it down or anything. So that was... That was good. And actually it was a lot smoother than uh, my one in general. So I'm gonna go back into the other lane because this car is trying to get into my lane on my left. So we'll give that Nissan space and come into this lane because it goes into a, a two rather than being three. Now this route here is kind of what it's like in the middle of London in terms of it's kind of tight double roads most of the time, but it does work very well on these because the lines are nice and clear. It's a beautiful sunny day. Like seriously, this is the perfect day to do this. And uh, I'm very I'm very intrigued to see what this Tesla has to offer. So I've got it for 24 hours and I'm gonna try and make as many videos as I can with this new software so that in the next few weeks, you'll have the newest software videos rather than my older software. And I'm currently discussing with Tesla whether they can retrofit, retrofit the hardware three computer in anytime soon. If they can't do that, whether we can just push updates to it. And if they can't do that, I'm probably gonna look at actually upgrading and swapping my car for a brand new one with the Hardware 3 suite in it. But we were promised the Hardware 3 computers retrofitted into ours, um, and Elon himself has said that you actually don't need Hardware 3 to have anything that Hardware 2 has. But don't forget there's Hardware 2.1 in there, well it's called 2.5, but they say it's 2.1, uh, which apparently was just wiring and stuff. So it's gonna be interesting. That's a lovely BMW i8 in white. Uh, I had one of those before I had my Tesla. Funny story, actually. I ordered a Model S before I ordered that i8, and the S was meant to come a year before my i8, and the S then got delayed two years after my i8, so I cancelled that and bought this Model X instead. Um, and yeah, and I've just got rid of the i8, actually, because I've got a Tesla Roadster on order, which is very, very exciting. So we're currently sat at one car behind, or, you know, the first level of uh, distance and this is the kind of distance it gives which is a good amount of distance but the only problem with it is you always get cars chopping up into this space i really wish you could have half this distance 
like in slower moving traffic and stuff just so that um, you people don't always cut into you and stuff as you can see all these other cars are just that little bit closer to each other making it hard to go in whereas this you know that trailer and that Ranger could have just come straight over and, and fit into that gap which is it get it does get kind of annoying um, as you go on so Otherwise, the car itself, I think it's the same. Oh no, it's a seven-seater. I've just realized this is actually a seven-seater, whereas mine's just a five-seater. This lorry is very, very close in terms of it's got this overhang and I don't like the overhang part. I'm hoping that the Tesla can see that. We've got a couple of straps flapping. You see that rope just flapping freely there as well. I'm actually gonna accelerate myself just to get past this. So if you accelerate at any time, autopilot, autopilot, autopilot will stay on but you can close that gap if you want to manually and then it will just hang off again. But it's good if you want to get around things like that. You can see it just broke there to allow that same gap that there was before. Okay, so I apologize there's no central camera. Hopefully you can see it from there. But in the next load of videos, I will have all three cameras around. It's just because I've just picked this up and I just have the one camera with me, but I wanted to give you my honest first reactions and then tomorrow I'm actually taking out a P100D so let me know what you want to see in videos with a P100D obviously only anything I can do on the street so I can't do anything too crazy um, but yeah anything I can do on the streets let me know so we're coming up now to the national speed limit so we're gonna be going into a 70 after after this little bit here but we've got to wait because there's one of those annoying yellow average speed cameras camera there Okay, so I'm gonna up it to 45 because it said it could do 45 just so it starts picking up as we get out of this. So, and then as we come out of it, does it speed up itself? No, it doesn't. I still have to use the um, stalk to get it to speed up. But then we are starting to pick up. Now I have obviously just done this journey. This is about an hour long motorway journey for me. Uh, we'll do like the first 10, 15 minutes of it or so, but there's no on or off ramps or anything like that. But like I said, that doesn't happen here in the UK. We don't actually have that. Now I'm gonna go around this guy just by tapping it once. And okay, he's decided to get out that lane anyway, but I just wanted to complete the task and let the car do it all. I'm gonna go back into that first lane then. Sorry, first lane, the middle lane. Like so. And I've got to say, already this is so much smoother than my Model X. Like really, that transition there was so much smoother. I don't normally talk about it when I'm driving my X because I'm used to it, but it does seem to jar at auto lane changes, especially on a corner. And if we go around a long corner like this that veers to the left, my car would be slightly ping-ponging, whereas if you look at the steering wheel here, it's really nice and true. Like it just turns that way and just goes and it goes around the corner really smoothly whereas in mine it doesn't it kind of it does that like the whole way around anyway thank you guys so much for watching the video i'll be doing loads more on this in the next 24 hours and we've got lovely weather for it so that is an absolute godsend until next time thank you for watching and don't forget drive safe